What's up guys, my name is Brock, you're watching The Modest Man, and today we're talking about outerwear. One question that I get a lot, especially around fall and winter, is what's the best outerwear for the shorter man? Uh, you know, what type of jackets are gonna flatter uh, the, the shorter build, and also where do I find them? Like what brands and what stores should I uh, be shopping at for outerwear? It's a good question, and it's kind of a difficult one to answer because men who are below average height come in different shapes and sizes. So there's a big difference between a guy who's, you know, 5'4 and built like a power lifter and a guy who's 5'7 and built like a marathon runner. Um, so it's kind of hard to say, you know, all short men should wear this type of outerwear and should shop at this store. But um, what I can do is give you some general tips and uh, show you my collection of outerwear so at least you'll have some ideas of what works for the shorter build and what brands you should uh, check out. So uh, I'm going to go through my outerwear collection and just talk you through each piece. Um, I think it's a pretty complete collection uh, for almost any type of climate. So hopefully uh, you can learn a little bit from my collection and figure out what you might be missing and you know where to get it. You'll notice that there are a couple of uh, popular types of outerwear that I don't have, uh, two in particular that are missing from my collection and that I don't think are actually necessary. And I'm not gonna tell you what they are, but uh, leave a comment below and, and tell me what you think is missing from my collection. Okay, so let's start with the lightest jacket. Uh, and that would be this nylon windbreaker from J. Crew. This is an extra small. Um, it's extremely light, so this is not providing really any warmth, just a little bit of protection from the wind. You know, this is good for like spring, you know, maybe early spring uh, if you're going out and the temperature is like in the low 60s and you just need that one extra layer just to kind of, you know, provide a little bit of extra warmth this is a good choice for you. I love it. I love the color, you know, it's it's kind of throwback. It feels a little 90s, but um, I just feel a very cool whenever I wear this. So that's, uh, that's my first piece, the windbreaker. My second piece, and this is also J. Crew, is this uh, lightweight, thin uh, vest. And uh, this is actually from J. Crew Factory. It's called the Walker Vest. And they still have them. Uh, they've, they've been making them every season in different colors. And these are perfect for layering. So almost anything in my outerwear collection, you can throw this on underneath for an extra layer. And uh, it's, it works especially well with like lightweight jackets, like field jackets and leather jackets. And you know, it adds a layer, uh, which, which looks super cool and stylish. And it also adds some warmth, but it's not like those thick, those thick uh, puffer vests. You know, so this is actually a really good choice for shorter, smaller men who don't want to look like, you know, George Costanza wearing that big puffy jacket. Okay, next up we have uh, this Tribeca field jacket from Peter Manning. This is one of my favorite jackets. It already fits really well on the shorter body type, but it's also adjustable. You know, it's got the buttons on the cuffs. It's got the drawstrings inside, so you can tighten it up if it's too loose. And it's just the perfect jacket for fall and spring. It's not warm enough for, for winter, uh, you know, if you're getting into the thir uh, like the 40s and the 30s, um, but it's a great jacket for fall and spring. It's perfect for layering. So you could, you know, layer this uh, over a vest, like that J. Crew vest, uh, and maybe like a button up or a sweater, and you'll be plenty, you know, plenty warm. So uh, this is a great choice. The field jacket in general, or like the engineer jacket, is a great choice uh, for like a lightweight, fall uh, piece of outerwear. Okay, next up we have another uh, Peter Manning jacket. This is obviously the leather jacket. This one is lambskin. It's pretty lightweight, so uh, you know, you're not getting a ton of warmth out of this. Um, it does have this quilted uh, kind of chambray lining, um, so you know, it provides some warmth, but obviously this is not a winter jacket. This is more like a fall jacket. It basically serves the same purpose as the uh, field jacket in that it's kind of lightweight. It's good for spring and fall. Probably wouldn't wear it during the winter unless you had some really warm base layers. Um, and obviously since it's leather, you know, it's not waterproof, so you wouldn't want to wear it in the rain or the snow. But it's an awesome jacket. It's super cool. Uh, fits perfectly, which is it's tough to find a leather jacket that fits good on uh, a guy who is below 5'9". So, 
you know, sleeve length is perfect. Uh, the actual jacket length is perfect. And uh, this is definitely one of my favorite lightweight jackets. Okay, so then we have this uh, blue jacket, uh, this dark blue jacket from Zara. It's actually the only thing I have from Zara. Um, I was really surprised. It was like the first time I went into a Zara store and I tried this on and it fit really well and I was so shocked. I had, I had to, I think it was $100. Uh, and this was like three or four years ago, so it's old. You know, I don't think they carry it anymore, but they probably have something similar. And this is good because it does have a little bit of insulation, so it's heavier than like the field jacket or the leather jacket. Um, and I've actually worn this in the wintertime with like that J. Crew vest and then like a sweater and a button up shirt underneath. And if you have that many layers, you know, along with like a scarf and some gloves and a hat, um, this will keep you warm during the wintertime. But not once you get into like, you know, the low 30s, the 20s, and the teens. Uh, it's, it's not that kind of um, jacket. But it is a great uh, sort of middleweight piece between like your heavy top coats and parkas and then your lightweight field jackets. I don't know what kind of jacket this is called, um, but yeah, th th this is one of my go-tos. Uh, and again, this is from Zara. Okay, now we're getting into the heavy stuff. So the top coats and the parkas. So this is from Banana Republic. This is a uh, camel colored wool top coat. Put it up here. It's an extra small. I did have to have the sleeve shortened, uh, which, you know, and they had uh, functioning buttons. So, uh, you know, it's not the cleanest tailoring job, but you can see the buttonhole down here. It doesn't really bother me too much, to be honest. Um, but, you know, otherwise this jacket fits really well and it was on sale. I got it for like, you know, $100 off uh, retail. Uh, and I've noticed that these top coats from Banana Republic go on sale pretty often. So um, you can probably find this one uh, you know, for some sort of deal, uh, especially during the holiday season. This is probably the most formal piece of outerwear that I own, uh, and it's just big enough that you can wear it over like a suit jacket or a blazer. If you're going to uh, like a formal event during the winter time, obviously you don't want to wear a suit and then like a parka or something over it. You want to wear something like this, a top coat. And so when you're trying it on, you want to make sure that it's going to fit over your suit jacket. Um, which is kind of tough because you still want it to be slim fit. And that's what I like about this jacket is it's still pretty snug, but it can fit over a suit jacket. So uh, it's, it's perfect. And, and obviously the color is awesome. You know, it's, this camel color uh, is classic and it's not going anywhere. It's not, it's not trendy, you know, it's not going out of style anytime soon. So this is the Banana Republic camel top coat, uh, size extra small. Okay, this is another Banana Republic top coat. Um, I actually got this one first, and then I liked it so much, I bought that other one. They're slightly different styles. Um, this one has uh, this lining built in. You can actually, you can take it out if you want, it just zips out, um, but I like it. It provides a little extra warmth, especially around the neck. Uh, I think this was called the double layer top coat, and I'm not sure if it's still available because I bought this maybe two seasons ago or three seasons ago. Now this one is super slim fit. Uh, so I actually can't get this over a suit jacket comfortably, but that's okay because I don't wear suits very often. Um, so if, if I'm wearing this, it's probably over like uh, basically something like this, like a button up shirt, a quarter zip sweater, or some sort of merino wool sweater, and then a top coat. Uh, so this, this is one of my favorite pieces of outerwear and I recommend that uh, you get a top coat in your collection if you don't already have one. Um, you know, try to find something that, that goes down to about mid thigh, you know, make sure the sleeves are the right length. It's just a very versatile piece. I prefer it over the pea coat. I think it's a more flattering garment for the shorter man. Okay, next up, last up, we have uh, the, the big guy. Okay, so this is for uh, very cold temperatures. And of course, I'm talking about the parka. I actually just got this. Um, this is the Slim Fit uh, Alpha Industries, I think it's called N3B, yes, N3B parka. Um, and I think they have a non-Slim Fit version of this too. Obviously, I, you know, I get everything Slim Fit if I can. 
And I had heard about this particular parka for a while uh, in places like uh, Male Fashion Advice on Reddit. You know, a lot of guys talk about this one. And then it was on sale on Amazon for like 50 or or $100 off. It was like a great sale. And so I, I picked it up. And to be honest, I thought it wasn't going to fit. I thought I was going to have to return it. And I put it on and I was like, wow, that's, that's awesome. This actually fits. Uh, and, it, you know, it's, it's bulky. And, and normally I wouldn't want to wear something this bulky. But you have, to, uh, you have to be warm, you know. And, you know, I'm, I'm from, I live in the Southwest now, but I'm from the East Coast where, you know, you might be commuting to work and it's seven degrees outside. So you have to have something that's going to keep you warm. And if it's a little bulkier, you know, that's okay. Now, this thing is so warm that you don't even really need multiple layers. You know, you can throw this on over like uh, a, a t-shirt, you know, or a long sleeve polo or something, and this will keep you warm. It has a little bit of sheen to it, you know, which I'm not crazy about. I think I'd prefer a matte finish. Um, Uniqlo has, Uniqlo, Uniqlo has a, a, a similar parka with a, with a matte finish. Um, Everlane has one that's similar uh, without the shine, but I don't, I don't think they're gonna fit as well as this one because this one fits really well. And it's just a very high quality slim fit parka for a really good price. So I'll link to this one down in the description, of course, so you can check it out. Once it gets a little colder and I can actually wear this more, uh, maybe I'll do a, a full review and show you some outfit examples. Okay, so that's my outerwear collection. I hope that gives you some ideas for what looks good on a shorter guy and also where to shop for outerwear. If you have any questions about outerwear, of course, please leave a comment down below. And if you're enjoying these videos, give me a quick thumbs up. Uh, it really helps out the channel and I kind of get a sense of what type of videos you want to see. All right, guys, until next time, stay stylish. <laughs>